Costume for Charity raises um, money for the food pantry. I believe it's like our 20th or 21st year doing it. Teachers dress up, wear costumes, and the students vote for their favorite costumes. So when you walk into the lunchroom, there's going to be multiple cups on tables, and it's going to be a picture of like all the costumes of all the uh, teachers. The students vote by uh, putting change in a cup and whatever we raise goes to the Playable Food Pantry and helps people in need. My husband's aunt actually lives, lived in Plainville for many, many years. At one point in her life, she actually relied on the Plainville Food Pantry. So it is actually meaningful to my family. The kids really enjoy the day. They enjoy seeing their teachers dress up in their unique costumes. Oh, I think the students have so much fun seeing the teachers be a little silly and have a good time, and then they also know it's for a good cause. So I think it's a fun day, fun day for them. I think it's a great thing because we can give back to the community. The kids get all excited about it. And I love that it goes right back to the residents of Plainville and helping out um, anybody here in town who might need it. Over the years, we've dressed up as lots of different things. Uh, we did the greasers last year. We were a unicorn, and I got to be the head of the unicorn, and she was the tail. Uh, Harry Potter alumni. Oh, who are, who are those folks? Who are they? Oh, the... Minions. The minions. Oh my gosh, I can't even think of them. Where was I? The little pink mushroom. Yeah. I don't know her From name. Mario. From Mario. And that's why the morale here at the middle school of Plainville is so high, because we all get together and enjoy each other's company.